Praise the Lord. Once again, I'm glad to have you at the Voice of Destiny, inspiring your moments and speaking to your life. I am Chris Emmanuel. Friends, I'd like you to understand today that God sent me again to tell you that this year, 2024, things are going to be great with you. Your life will not be ordinary. Every month will deliver specific testimonies in your life if you believe. But there's what to do to engage God's hand of blessing on your life. It takes the blessing of the Lord to be rich. But there's what to do to secure the blessings of God over your endeavors. Permit me to continue in our teaching series that is towards a greater 2024. All I see for 2024 is greatness. I don't know what you are saying. All that my eyes see for 2024 is greatness. I don't see anything. I don't care what is happening in the economy. I don't care what is happening around me. I don't care what is my, in my bank account. The one thing God has told me, I will increase your greatness and I will comfort you on every side. I believe that word with all my heart. So all I can see in 2024 is greatness. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said to Abraham, I will make you great. That's the same prophecy on my life. And because we are children of Abraham, that's the prophecy we are running with. So, beloved, I'd like you to believe everything God says to you in spite of the circumstances around you. What God says is true, the happenings around you notwithstanding. The Word of God has capacity to change the happenings in our life, to fit into the things He has said. When God speaks a word, the word runs through our lives and our paths and changes us to be who God says we are and changes things to be the way God says it is. That's why I'm speaking every day to you. What God says is that this year will end a great year for you. Permit me to show you one more thing you must engage this year in order to have a great year. Destiny is operated by spiritual forces. If you have those forces at your disposal, then you will command the greatness of destiny. Can I let you understand? Destiny doesn't occur by mere wishes or human feeling. You can't operate destiny by sheer feelings. You operate destiny by understanding the forces that run destiny. Among the forces of destiny that makes a man enjoy greatness in destiny is the force of diligence. The force of diligence. The force of diligence. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29, the NLT translation says, do, do you truly see a competent worker? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Mark the word, competent worker. Those who hate work are wasters. Those who work hard cannot be wasters. Those who hate work are wasters. And those who work hard cannot be wasters. I'd like you to understand that one of the things given to all men is capacity to be productive. How do I know so? Every man that has a mind has received capacity from God to be a productive and a creative man. So if you tell me you don't have anything doing, you are a liar. Because your mind has been given to you by God to create anything you want out of life. The mind of man is the biggest gift that God has given to man. But many are underutilizing theirs. Others are not, using, others are not utilizing their own. Why some others are fully engaging their mind productively. And in life, you are either using your mind so that people will work for you or you are, you are working for those who are using their mind. So it's either you are engaging your mind productively and getting men to run businesses for you, or you will be running businesses for those who are engaging their mind. Can I let you understand today, there is no future for any lazy man. No lazy man has a future. Stop deceiving yourself, praying only, but not working. Beloved, only competent workers will rise to greatness. Every endeavors you are engaged in, God's desire is that you will see greatness in that endeavor. But can I let you understand, without an approach of diligence, beloved, you won't have testimonies in your work. This year, 2024, if there must be one thing you must change, is your attitude to work. Diligent is simply giving all of you into an assignment until it works. Diligent is not just working hard. It's knowing 
how to work best to obtain results. Many claim to be working, but nothing is working around. A diligent man does not just work hard, he engages the best approach to see that his work produces efficient results. Diligence is all about efficiency and effectiveness. Being an efficient and an effective worker is what we call diligence. It's not just hard work. It's becoming efficient and effective at work. Until you are able to produce results at work, people won't value your service. Believer, God gave you his spirit as an added advantage with the mind he gave to all men so that you can be an excellent result producer. You have a mind and now you have the Holy Ghost. You cannot be barren. These two forces in you forbid you to be an ordinary believer. My father, Pastor Lachim Israel said, he said, God hates mediocrity. And I believe that so much because he has put so much into us for us to be mediocres. How can you have this great mind? How can you have this great spirit of God that created the universe out of nothing and you still cannot make something out of your life? Beloved, it is time for you to begin to engage your mind productively this year. Engage the Holy Ghost creatively this year and create things out of your nothing. Diligence is simply being effective and efficient at work. Only effective workers will be retained. Only efficient worker will be prized. This year, do not just give yourself to working. You have to ask yourself, are there no better approaches to how this thing can be done? Are there no better steps to be taken to see how this business can grow? Only the diligent will have great honor this year. The hand of the diligent by scripture shall be a rule. Every diligent man will be on top. Every diligent man will be in charge. Many today are where they are today because they work anyhow. They do things anyhow. Many things committed into their hand, nothing is working. Every one of us blame the economy, we blame the leader. But sincerely, can I ask you, your own life, what are you doing to make your life work? If the economy is not working, you can make the economy of your own life work. If nothing is working in the country, your life can work. We are simply lying to ourselves. It's because of the hard economic situation. If you are truthful enough, you agree with me that there are certain persons around you that things are working for. Things only work for creative workers. All of your covenant fathers in scripture are creative workers. Abraham had famine in his time, but the famine never had effect on him. He was a diligent man. He knows the best approach to adopt at his work to keep things working for him. What about Isaac? The same thing. What about Abraham? The same thing. Can I let you understand? The same spirit that works in those men are the same spirit working in our lives. Can I let you understand right now? One of the if, if effects of diligence is that diligence keep your mind thinking. The force of diligence make you a creative thinker. It is through creative thinking we can improve our work. It is through creative thinking we can improve our sales. Whatever is not producing as it ought to, it's because there's somebody not thinking how to get it done. Until you begin to tell yourself the truth, that a lot can still happen in your life. A lot of changes are required to get the best out of this year. You can't sleep more than you walk. You are already signed off for poverty. You can't eat much more than you earn. You have already told yourself you are not interested in becoming great. Everyone who loves sleep will definitely be poor. Everyone who tarry at wine have signed up for poverty. This year, 2024, be hard on yourself if you don't want life to be hard on you. Diligence is putting your life under strict discipline to get results by all means. You work until work pays. That's what it means to be diligent. My father in the faith, Bishop Edipo, said diligence is deadly commitment. Deadly commitment. Deadly commitment. Not walking a little and say, I've tried. If you have no results, you have not tried. Nobody pay you for trying. People pay you for getting results. So on your job this year, you must be top and you must be the one producing results. Nobody promotes a lazy man. Everybody who enjoys promotion is a man who has distinct himself by diligent work. 
I'd like to call out to somebody right now. Even the grace of God answers by diligence. Even the grace of God answer by diligence. Even the grace of God answer by diligence. Paul speaking in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. He said, by the grace of God, I am what I am. He said, yet not I. The grace of God that was given to me was not in vain. He said, I labor more abundantly. There is no future for any lazy man. Stop praying and avoiding work. Those who dodge work have signed up for hardship in life. If all you do day and night is just to pray and you are not engaging in any meaningful venture, friends, you have signed up to be a beggar. And that's not the will of God for your life. Paul had grace on his life. That grace propelled him to work more. Every man of grace is a man of great work. And great work will always distinct a man and put him on the top of his career. I call you out today, my friends. This is a time for you to change your approach to life. Stop being soft on yourself and crying in abject poverty. The will of God for you is that things will work. There are so many things around you. If you can think enough, you can make greatness out of them. There are so many challenges around you. If you can think enough, you can convert them to your desired testimony. As I shut down today, one of the power of diligence, it helps you to see solution through all your life challenges. I call you out, my friends. The time for you to make a difference in this year is here. And that step to take is changing the way you see your work. Stop complaining about work. Work don't kill people. Work refines people. Work makes you better. Any man not working is dying gradually. Only the living can work. Dead men don't work. So the day you stop working is the day you are signing up for death. So death is the only thing that excuses us from work. If you found a man who hates work, you have seen a man who is willing to die. Working diligently is one way to keep all of your nerves in good health. You cause your brain cells to continue to be impactful and to be useful by giving yourself to diligent thought. I like you this year, be diligent. Even God does not reward those who serve him without diligence. The Bible said, those who seek him diligently. I call you out today. Diligence is the way up. Diligence is the way out of your challenges. Diligence is the way to make so much out of your environment. There's so much of opportunity around you that you must be diligent enough to be able to perceive them and maximize them. I'll see you on next broadcast. You won't fail in 2024. God bless you. Another measure Only cost another 1,000 Another measure